Hey, hey. hey. I'm Tony. No, you're not. No, 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 no. I'm Tony. Uh, and I'm Art. And we're from GardenMastersWithAZ.com. Now, hmm, what's that sound I'm hearing in the background? It's a bubbly brook behind our house. Actually, it's not. It's our own water feature that we put together and constructed ourselves several years ago. Because we live on a hill. Yeah, and we don't have a stream in our backyard, but this takes the place. But for now, we have a really neat plant hack that you can do with a pond or water feature such as ours. Such as ours. Okay. <laughs> and Shush. <laughs> Shush. <laughs> and why is it a hack art? Because this plant normally doesn't grow in a pond. That's right. We've never seen this plant growing in water before. But you know what? Where do we discover it, Art? At the pond shop. Yes, we have a really neat pond shop near us. And we were shopping there one day and they were doing this. It's like, wow, let's try this. And it worked really well. So we're going to reveal it to you right now. Wow. That is a large pond plant. It's an elephant ear. Oh. oh my goodness. Hey, I could put that on and be an elephant. <laughs> Anyways, folks, this is the secret. We overwintered our elephant ear bulb. And by the way, we have a video on that. The link will be in the description. And these bulbs used to be planted in the ground. There's one small bulb in here. One small bulb is producing all these leaves. Now you might think it's a little large for this little uh, fountain feature, but. So we planted, we planted the bulb in the pot using normal soil. You have to use a terracotta pot so the water is absorbed through the pot. So what's very important is you have to put it in a terracotta pot and it has to be only submerged about two inches in the water. You do not want to do the normal pond plant where this would be totally submerged That's in right. the water. That's right. Other pond plants that are meant for water, would the pot would be totally 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 underwater so always try to keep it um, the water in your fountain up to a level of an inch or two and I also want to point out that the roots grow out the bottom Wow look at that we have rocks inside the water feature that the pot is sitting on to raise it to the correct level so even if the water gets down it's still going to get water through those roots. That's incredible how that grows like that. Um, we love it. It adds another dimension to our water feature. So we were surprised. We learned this at the pawn shop and we were like, okay, well, this is a whole new dimension because we can put canas or elephant ears in the same type of environment and have beautiful flowers. It's beyond pond plants. Beyond pond plants, that's a good way to put it. Now, this particular elephant ear in this water feature gets partial sun, not full sun, but it's doing really, really magnificent. We love it, and you will too. Watch the video on how you can create your own bubbler and water feature. We have a video on that. The link will be above my head and in the description. If you like this video, you'll also like subscribing to our newsletter, Growing Together, where you'll get lots of tips and tricks that are not found on YouTube and exclusive to newsletter subscribers. In addition, you'll also receive our report, the top 10 pro landscape design tips that are sure to make you a better gardener. Just click the link below and subscribe to our newsletter.